<laughs> Go woosty. I'm sorry, I woke you up for your nap. So I just want to talk more about Ghosty. I'm I appreciate the great response that I got from Ghosty's 19th birthday video. Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> there she is taking her nap. Funny thing about her naps when we got Ghost and Goblin when they were four weeks old. You know, they you know kittens. They have a lot of energy and they take a lot of naps. But we noticed they would always have their naps at four PM and then seven PM. So we just laughed about that and that just became a thing. Ghosty and Goblin have their four PM naps, then wake up play around and get tired and have their 7 p.m. naps <laughs> and then when sugar came along we had to inform her the rules 4 p.m. naps 7 p.m. naps and when shadow came he had to learn the rules then Angel and Demona 4 p.m. naps 7 p.m. naps now though ghosty naps all the time And then when we got Lewis and Boudicca, yeah, there's no more 4 p.m. naps, 7 p.m. naps. Everyone just kind of naps whenever. <laughs> and then, uh, and then when we had Knuckles, man, they were really on on his schedule. He had his poop schedule. He would go to the litter box. And that was a sign that everyone else had to go to the litter box too. It was nuts. It was always difficult at nighttime because I also noticed that Knuckles would wait until I go to bed before he would go to the litter box. And I would mess with that because I would go to bed at different times just to see. Nope. It was always after I went to bed. And so I would lay down. And suddenly I would hear Knuckles coming down the hall into our bedroom, to the master bathroom, bathroom, and then boom, blow up the house. Whew. Then I have to get up, scoop up the litter, wash my hands, go back down, go back down to bed. And then the other four cats would come back one after the other, and I'm like, oh my god, so I, I just get up every time. So they were on his poop schedule. Yeah. And that kind of made it easy when we had to go to the vet, because since they were on the schedule, if we needed a, a sample, we knew exactly which ones we had to scoop. You know, sadly, you know, when Knuckles left us, it was a free-for-all after that. <laughs> but the 4 p.m. naps and 7 p.m. naps stayed. And, uh, mm -hmm. I would always get wake-up calls. I always wake up with the cat in the bed. She goes stuck with me every night. She had her bed next to my pillow. She was always there. And when I would wake up, it's like goblin noon. When I would wake up, I think you could hear the sound of my eyelids opening. It must have sounded like thunder. Because since I open up, I come running in <laughs> like Christmas morning. And then suddenly the other cat, if the cats weren't already sleeping on the bed, they would come. And Sugar didn't like that, so she would leave. And then I would lay in the bed and cuddles with them. Then wake up and keep them feeding them so it's very orderly. They behave themselves. They would circle around my legs like sharks, but they would behave. And then I would feed all five of them. Oh, 
cave and then as they would finish up finish off their bowl they would look at each other's bowls and then they would switch bowls and, hey what are you eating what are you eating the same thing but somehow it was more delicious than their other bowls now it's a little bit difficult because Ghosty now uh, has to eat the special food for the kidney. She has the beginnings of kidney disease. But we've kept it in check for the past three years. So she's, she has to eat her Phil's prescription diet kidney care food. And I go back and forth between the dry and the canned food. Um, the canned food with the dry food that's easy because I just give it to her whenever she wants it all the other cats I feed twice a day uh, we used to leave the dry food out all day but that's how shadow got big he would just eat <laughs> and so uh, we decided okay feed him twice a day and that worked you know that kind of you know, you're the boss uh, but with Ghosty, uh, she didn't care for this too much, so it was difficult to, I mean she eats it, but now I just feed her whenever she wants. So anytime she wants this, I give it to her, and she eats whenever she has her fill. But then she goes and drinks some water and then comes back and wants more. So, But I have to be careful because the other cats want to eat her food, and this is expensive. Um, so have to make sure that only she eats it um, and then the other cats have their regular cat food but Angela and Demona and Lilith Boudica do not get along so that nice orderly meal <laughs> is now filled with drama so I have to watch that ghost eat her food and not their food she can't eat regular food anymore and then Angela and Demona now eat on the kitchen counter and then Lilith and Booty eat on the dining room table I would put them on the floor but then Ghost comes by and wants to eat their food and unfortunately for Ghosty she's not as agile as she, as she used to be Angela what are you doing? So it's like Angela saw me and wiggle this around you know, she wants some see Angela you cannot eat this you're not old enough. Your kidneys are healthy. Angela, your kidneys are healthy. You can't eat this kidney food. Plus, you're all chunker. You're a chunky girl. And Ghosty is petite. Ghosty used to be the chunker one, but now she's petite. Now, with Ghosty at her age, I don't know, she was always chunky, so she. At our old house, she was able to jump on the kitchen counter. This house, the counter was is a little bit higher, so she, I think maybe she jumped once, and I think she fell down, and I think because of that, she did not like jumping up on that counter anymore. Um, you know, she would climb our cat tree and everything, but she did not like jumping. And uh, Goblin Knuckles would not jump on the counter. He was too high. He would do parkour, jump on the dresser, then the table, and then jump onto the counter. Uh, Goblin and Sugar would jump on the counter. Shadow could not. <laughs> He's too big and fat. But surprisingly, he did it once or twice. That shocked us because suddenly he was on the counter. And then we saw him jump once, but then he wouldn't do it too often. Uh, and then Ghosty just wouldn't. And then uh, now Ghosty really can't jump anymore, so she climbs onto the couch. We even got little steps for her. So she walks up the steps, sits on her spot. Yeah. So she'll jump down on the couch. It's not that big a jump. But they say she has arthritis too. 
So whatever makes it easy for her will do. Um, I notice her balance is a little off. If she makes a U-turn, that throws her off a little bit. And she catches herself. Um, but she still runs. She, you know, if she's on a straight line, straight path, she will run. <laughs> so she still has that spunk, you know. She's still herself. Go D. See, look at her. She looks good. I do think she's deaf because her ears don't respond to you know sound uh, she always responded to her name so she would hear me calling her name and she would come at me she doesn't do that anymore uh, yeah, but I give her loves I can give you loves too angels are getting jealous why are you getting jealous so jealous my goodness Angela you want the food cannot have those foods Chunky girl, pretty girl, mm. the ghosty, look at the ghosty, because she's a pretty girl, look at this pretty girl, go see, oh, look at that, she wants food. It's getting wild here. Look at this. Go see. Mm -hmm. Go see. And Ghosty gives me kisses on the nose. I've lost track how many kisses I've gotten from her. Look now she wants. Yeah. Angela wants some snacks too. So there's the ghosty. Angela. Lilith is my is in my uh, room. Boudica is in the kitchen and Demona is in the bedroom. So yeah, that's my ghosty girl. Anyway, thanks for watching.